we're already at the pointy end. That was quick. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so I think there's uh, four or five coming in today. Wow. So Canberra, Melbourne. Two Anzacs, nothing serious. Um, so those ones there with the cracking guard on it are like the normal everyday intakes. Yeah. Uh, they've got um, shutters on it so that when we go in the NBC state, they shut and then the air comes through these, which are your filters for like nuclear biological chemical attack. This is secondary DCC, which is like damage control centre, and um, this is how you see everything on the ship. So that's our generators that are running, so we've got two generators running, that's our main engine, so PDE, gas turbine, gas turbine, PDE. What's PDE stand for? Propulsion diesel engine, and then you can go through here and like start up, so say you want to start gas turbine, all you have to do is click that button there and it'll start the gas turbine. You better not. No, I don't have responsibilities. <laughs> like, you have to log in. Oh, okay. You see my photo. Oh, right, yeah. So, so when it clicks on you, your so. level of responsibility will, you know, certain yeah. buttons will illuminate so or grey out. Auxiliaries and damage control. Um, rudders. And you can take control of the rudder and then you can, like, input your rudder angle that you want from here. So even if you don't have control, you can just look at it and see what's happening? Yeah, so at the moment I can tell that steering is flushed up, so it's ready to go. Uh, the bow thruster is connected and it's ready to go.
I overseas everything. And what I do is I run down the spaces and like start machinery or change valves or whatever. Just keep me late night. The issues with it the other day, the ABR wasn't reset. What, there wasn't this there much wasn't, room? There wasn't that much room. Friggin' hell. Oh, I reckon they're tight, little rooms. A bit tight. That's our rec space, there's a couple of tellies and stuff in there. Ooh. Is that your space? Yeah. We watch movies and we're watching Star Wars. Hey, drums? So they're the big circuit breakers uh, where the 440 volt is coming into it and then that connects the power to the main board and then to the rest of the ship. So you try and power like two diesels together you need these phase rotation to be going the right way so that's going to be spinning that way, get the green light and then it, when it's at the dead zone is when you can connect them together and you close it. Yeah, we're just about at the bottom. That's right, these ones are bigger. That's your propulsion diesel, and that's your gas turbine. There's the shaft in the middle. So it's sped up again. Look at this taken.
turbo like that on either side. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can just see the other one. Side. So it's that leg line, it's the exhaust going out, yeah. the exhaust into the turbo goes up, and then the intake through that top section, and then it's cooled by seawater going into the engine. Starting and securing local. And other stuff like chill water plant starting and securing. So there's one of these very bit of kit that we need to start and stop. One of these. Yeah, so you have drawings as well. Everything. Parameters, heat depth. Same control panel tells the speed, does it? Yeah, I'll go have a look, see how We're doing 70 head, we're doing 19 knots, 20, 21 knots through water. 70% power. 70% power, yeah. Gives us 20 knots. 21. Okay. If we're going full 100 ahead, we usually get about 28, 29 knots. 1,300 RPM, your gas generator powers your power turbine, which is connected to your char. And your power turbine is doing 2,700 RPM. So from 8 down to 27, 8 3 down to 27. To like what, what is the shaft up? 136 shaft up yet. That's our shaft up yet? Oh, yeah, so it's rotating 130, 140. Yeah. 22 knots now. Oh, yeah, it's climbing, isn't it? Yeah, they're huge, hey, and they're welded to it as well. Like, 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 like. Who farted? 
me. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. Get your big ass out of the way, fella. You're blocking the sunlight. Woo! I grabbed the hatch. That's what 22 knots looks like. Well, that was enlightening. Heading back in by now. We went and had a look at some engines and steering and stuff. So take suction from here. We we use what we call Venturi effects, so you actually connect fire main up to it. Um, it uses um, basically pressures to take suction like a straw out of a space. Ramped uses fire main to spin the impeller run up the fan so we can de-smoke a compartment. We have inline inductors with a portable container of AFFF liquid. We place this end inside the container and attach fire hoses on either end of this. And basically what it does is when we fire up the fire main it will automatically put in 6% of AFFF Pointed out that it's got a side on it. I was like, what's that? He said, oh, you know, you can come around here, fold these bits out and sort of hang on to them and shoot it like it's an old school gun. It's a tight turn, isn't it? Your boats don't get a uh, yeah pilot. That's right. Uh, all the um, navigators on board have all like done the course of this harbour. Camera. <laughs> uh, as we sail this afternoon, we'll be sailing past HMS Darwin, Buffalo, 